everyone and welcome back to my channel for May's plan with me. This month I decided to go with a theme um, inspired by Pinterest. I found a Pinterest around called Roller Picasso. So part of this what you'll need in equipment is you'll need a dice. I didn't have a dice so I ended up having to make one myself. Um, but yeah, so if we get started and I'll take you through the process on how it works. So what you'll need is you'll need your phone or a printout of the Roller Picasso sheets and I will link below where you can find this on Pinterest. And basically all you do is you take your dice and you roll a number and you leave it up to the fate of Picasso, I guess, um, to see what you're going to be drawing in terms of faces. So each roll of the dice will give you a different element of the face. The first roll is for the actual face shape and I got like, this weird bean kind of shape and then you just go ahead and draw that in. And I drew it kind of freehand, didn't really measure anything and you'll see a bit later that it didn't land up quite centered on the page so if you're a stickler for being centered and in the middle of everything maybe just measure out a rough idea of where you want to place the face but didn't really bother me too much made it work in the end as you'll see and then you go and you roll for the eye and um, the first eye on the right hand side I rolled a six which is the squiggly thing and you draw that in and that's essentially how it works it's really easy and I think pulls together a really cool unique different kind of face so you just carry on doing that for each roll of the dice and that's how you do your face The actual Roller Picasso sheet only does the face shape, eyes, nose, mouth and ears. So if you're that way inclined and I was feeling really creative, I added in some hair and just a neck shape just to finish off the actual portrait. But it's up to you, it's your diary, your planner, so you do what makes you feel inspired and happy um, to finish up. I chose this theme because I really wanted something fun, colourful exciting and arty for my bullet journal this month. It's been a uh, rough April I would say and um, I'm sure everybody's feeling quite cooped up and just feeling down in general despite here in Ireland we've had the most amazing weather but despite the sunshine still just feeling so cooped up and you know, we're not allowed to go out for good reason, but it just needed something to inspire me and just bring colour into my life. I haven't been able to enjoy spring as much as I would have loved to. So yeah, just bringing in some colour and some inspiration for this theme. You'll see I tried to do some, uh, just some freehand lettering there. Nothing fancy, there's no rhyme or reason, just kind of made some letters up. Um, it worked okay in some cases and in others as you'll see it didn't really and then on the right hand side I've got my quote page where it says art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life and I think that's very fitting because it just was feeling quite dusty and broken and just not feeling so good so on the left hand side there I put a gold border around the portrait but I felt like it was a bit yellow with a yellow face so I added in just with an orange coloured pencil just to make that yellow a little less yellow. So it just made it look a little more uh, lifelike kind of in a way. It just took that yellow cringe out of it and I think it works out quite nicely. I really like the lines, uh, the organic feel of the face. I used a gel pen for the border a glitter gel pen and I just added some sparkle into the hair as well which worked out really nicely and then just an organic border with some of the elements of the face thrown in between a repeating pattern and that will be the theme for the rest of the journal as well. Moving on to my next monthly spread is my budget spread. I have this in every month for obvious reasons. Every month there's budget and I use the same method just for these little faces at the top to frame the title just with the dice rolling. Uh, the one on the left looks a little bit scary and angry, the one on the right looks really cute. I just love how every time you use this method you get a different kind of face and just a different kind of personality which is really fun. before 
the font did not work on every page and here you can see it looks a little bit like a horror movie font so I do go back and change that a little bit later but if you are interested in understanding how I use this budget page um, you'll see on the left there I've got fixed um, expenses income savings and on the right I'm just putting in my weekly expenses that I've categorized if you are interested for me to go through and explain how I use this page then just let me know. So after coloring in that border there you'll see I add some drop shadows to the boxes on the left and just colored in a gray border around the back just to make everything kind of feel finished. I then went back and tried to fix my headline which I hated so much. So I just cut out a little piece of paper, the same paper that my journal is made out of and just rewrote it and pasted it in. It's not ideal but hey it looks better so that's good. And that finishes up that page. month at a glance or monthly calendar whatever you want to call it I decided to go for a full two page spread this month I not because I have much going on but just because I really like the way it looks I like having space if I do have things going on just to put things in there but I also like the space and the look of it I start my calendar on a Sunday to a Saturday and that's why in that last little block on the right there you'll see that I just added in the last day of the month so I just combined the two and that was just because I couldn't be bothered to add one line of blocks just for one day so it's fine they can be together they're friends and uh, so I just kind of repeated the theme there at the top slightly different kind of style of border but um, I think it still works and added some colored drop shadows to the different blocks in the calendar. And then I decided that it needed a little bit of sparkle and some flair. So after adding some shadow to the headline, I just used a gold gel pen to put in some stars and some dots just to give it a little bit of sparkle and flair. And that is my monthly calendar spread. watched my plan with me's before you'll know that I don't do daily spreads I do weekly spreads and that's just because I use my bullet journal for personal planning and not for work planning so my to-do lists are a bit shorter I use what is called the Alistair method and you'll see me drawing that in now where you've got the days of the week at the top and your tasks on the right and you kind of just assign your task with a dot for each week to finish up this theme, I used again the Roller Picasso method, that is the theme after all, and I drew this little face. I think this is my favourite one out of the entire batch that I drew. I think he's really cool and he finishes up quite nicely. I then decided to add a border around the edge just to finish it off. I had thought of using this border as a way to track my mood, so you would assign a different colour for each and then colour it in and make sure the blocks all add up to 30. I decided not to and the reason for that was because I actually have a mood tracker at the beginning of my journal where I link it over with my period tracker so I didn't want to do moods twice which didn't make sense so but if you were and you needed a mood tracker maybe that's a good idea. I always use a horizontal Dutch door for this theme so what you do is you cut out a little square at the top of the right hand page and then you can flip over the bottom portion of the page and can still have access to your habit tracker on the right no matter what day of the week or week of the month you're on you always have access to your habit tracker I don't like flipping back and forwards every day to fill in my habits I find I don't do it that way so having access to it no matter what day of the week I'm on it just makes me more likely to complete that tracker and that's the way I found works for me so that's what I do I did try a different version of this last month if you want to have a look at that 
theme I will have a link for it down below if you want a different take on this Dutch door system. Just a couple of finishing touches then, just adding some colourful drop shadows to the habit tracker, adding in some stars to the page and just darkening up those headlines and just to make them pop out so that I can actually read them. And then my four week spread for May is done. And that is it. As I flip through, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I really enjoyed this theme. I probably say this every time I do a bullet journal theme, but this one is my favorite. I really like the colors. I love the little faces and the personality that it brings. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it too, uh, let me know and please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and share the love. Stay safe, look after yourselves, look after yourselves mentally and physically and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.